Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm fine. Great. It's great to hear that. Let's begin. We're going to begin now. Okay, everybody. Um, I'll call attendance now. Okay. <clears throat> Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you very much. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Presente. Thank you. Paudilio Elenilson Rivera. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Thank you. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo, Represa, Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Me eh, Gallegos Mejía. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Creo Franklin. que está trabajando. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Ever Aristi de Soya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Iván Alexis Rodríguez. Iván Alexis Asensio. Rodríguez. Asensio. Presente. Thank you. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. José Carlos Portillo Arias. José Carlos Portillo Arias. Perdón, Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Disculpen. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Me, me, me pareció raro el nombre en mi mente por un momento. Ok, Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes, Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. 
Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Ok. Por acá en el chat nos dicen Carlos Edgardo Cruz presente. Aquí le tomamos asistencia. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. María Magdalena, por acá nos dice que ya está. Presente, teacher. Dijo el Sierra Arrasal que está en un procedimiento, por eso no se va a conectar. ¿Y quién, perdón? Arrasaba el Calderón. Ah, ok. Ok, bueno, igual, eh, por si llegase a poder conectarse, vamos a llamar su, su nombre al final nuevamente. Gracias por la información. A Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. No. <risa> Edith Consuelo Represa. Por acá nos dice que ya llegó. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Valentín Rivera López. I'm here, profe. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Franz, Juan, ya dijo que quizás no hoy. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Hernández, Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Ok. Teacher. Ok. Teacher, creo que la, el, algunos compañeros están de turno en los Juegos Centroamericanos y el Caribe. Ah, de verdad. Con Salvador y tienen algunos inconvenientes. Uh -huh. A lo mejor algunos que se puedan conectar de allá, como lo ha hecho Wilber, se van a poder a otros por el otro problema de la operativa, a uh -huh. lo mejor no puedan. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, de igual manera, cuando sucedan, eh, gracias por la información, ¿verdad? Cuando estas situaciones se den, eh, gracias por notificarme. Igual recuerden siempre notificarlo a los eh, quienes manejan el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Los administradores, para que ellos estén sabedores de la situación también. Okay. okay, let's begin. Por acá nos dice Ever Alballero, varios estamos en escenario en apoyo a Juegos, a Juegos Centroamericanos y Caribe. Ok, esperamos comprensión. Ok, perfecto. Buenas noches, Mauro dice, presentando problemas de conexión porque está lloviendo fuerte. Sí, aquí estaba lloviendo fuerte. No hay buena señal, está lloviendo fuerte, dice Cecia. Bueno, ok, esperemos que puedan conectarse, aunque sea un poquito tardecito, pero que nos, nos acompañe. Ok, everybody, welcome. This is English Principiante Módulo 3, and this is uh, Ivan Doñan at your service. Uh, session number five, and today is June 26th of 2023. Let's begin. Que tenemos un repaso. Imperatives, ok, take a look. Imperatives, to give commands and instructions. For example, he says right here, Come in, pase, okay, and you have this. Be careful, okay? ten cuidado, okay, don't fall, no te caigas. So we use come, look, the verb be, etc. when we tell somebody to do something. Juan Carlos Portillo dice que ya está conectado, con un poco de dificultad de señal. Okay. Erika Beatriz ya está por acá también. Thank you. Okay, so we use come, look, be, etc. when we tell somebody to do something. Examples, come here and look at this. Okay, ven acá y mira esto. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. 
no quiero hablar contigo, vete. He said, I don't want to talk to you, go away. I am not ready, yes, please wait for me. And please be quiet, I'm working. So imperatives are very easy. You can say also, have a good vacation, have a good trip, have a nice time, have fun, okay? Enjoy your meal, disfrute su comida, enjoy the party. Good night, sleep well, have a chocolate. That means, would you like a chocolate? Oh, thanks. So the affirmative form is just the verb in base form. La forma afirmativa solo es el verbo en su forma base y nada más. ¿Ok? No existen formas especiales para tercera persona porque uno no le puede dar una instrucción a una tercera persona. No le puede dar una instrucción a alguien que no está, quien no va a recibir el mensaje directamente. So, it's just the verb. Only that. And if you want to make it negative, you add don't. We use don't when we tell somebody not to do something. Be careful. Don't fall. Please don't go. Stay here with me. Be here on time. Don't be late. And we did the first exercise. We're not going to repeat it because we completed it last time. So you have come in. Don't drink the water. It's too expensive. Don't buy it. Okay, are you ready? Smile. Don't sit on the cat. Bye. Have a nice time. Don't forget to call me. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to bed now. She says, okay, sleep well. Be careful with that face. Don't drop it. Okay, ten cuidado con ese jarrón. No lo botes. Don't drop it. So this is the exercise we solved last time. I think I sent it to you via WhatsApp. I believe, yes, I sent it to you. All right, so um, there's knowledge check, okay, 2.9. So instructions, complete the sentences, use the words in the box. Complete estas oraciones, usa las palabras del cuadro. And those are, in this case, call, stay, don't go, don't drink, see, take, don't worry, and don't eat. Let's take a look. Complete these sentences, use the correct forms of the words in the box, okay? You have the first one, call a dentist. Don't worry too much. No te preocupes tanto. Okay. What about number three? Volunteers, please. Aquí me ayuda con la tres. Terminemos la unidad para comenzar ya la tercera. Baudilio. Take two aspirin. Take two aspirins. Aspirin. Correct. Take two aspirins. Very good. Thank you, Aurelio. Number four. Let's do this. Maria de Lourdes. Not go to a school. The negative form. What is the negative form? ¿Cuál es la forma negativa? Don't go uh -huh. to a school. Don't go to school. Okay, correct. Thank you. Don't go to school. Okay, good. Number five. Volunteers. Baudilio. Listen to relaxing music. Listen to relaxing music. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. What about the next one? Number six. Volunteers. No sea no mismo, but. Drinking tea. Uh huh. Evert, number six. See a doctor. See a doctor. Okay. Vaya a ver un doctor. See a doctor. Thank you, Evert. Number seven. Maria Magdalena. I don't know coffee. I don't, I know. Don't drink. Don't not drink. No. Don't. Drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Correct. Okay, good. Don't drink coffee. No Don't beba drink café. Coffee. Don't drink coffee. Too much caffeine. Number eight. Correct. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Number eight, please, a volunteer. Um, uh, Enrique. Don't eat 
and it can be. Ok. <risa> ¿Está de acuerdo, Enrique? Yes. Ok, so you have don't eat any candy. Ok, thank you very much. <risa> thank you for your participation. Don't eat any candy. All right, that's the activity. That's that's uh, knowledge check to. Sorry, teacher, me está dando problema el micrófono. No, don't worry. No se preocupe. Don't worry. Okay, Franklin de la O dice que ya está por acá. Vamos a ponerle asistencia. Okay, José Amilcar también. Bienvenidos. Okay, let's continue. Uh, next. Now, this is an extra exercise, okay? Un, un ejercicio adicional. Give these people advice, use the phrases in the box. Depende de lo que esté acá, ¿verdad? Okay, give these people advice. Dele consejo a estas personas. Use the phrases in the box. This is a copy-paste exercise. Es un ejercicio de copiar y pegar. Solo elija. For example, the first one is, work too hard. Pero veamos. Tendría que ser, don't work too hard. Okay, no trabaje demasiado. Don't work too hard. No trabaje demasiado duro. No le meta tanto al trabajo. Don't work too hard. What about number two? Look, if you see, he is sick. And the people are outside playing, having a good time. So what is the advice? Your options are drink some water, go home early, go to the grocery store, lift heavy things, levantar cosas pesadas, have a hot drink, go outside, and stay up late, which is desvelarse, stay up late. What about number two? Adán Iglesias. Go outside. Go outside. But if you look, he's sick. Se enfermito. Entonces, sería lo contrario. Negativo. No. Don't. Ajá. Para hacer el negativo solo ocupamos don't al principio y ya estuvo. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría, Adam? Don't go outside. Don't go outside. Yeah, that is correct. Don't go outside. Thank you, Adam. Good. Number three. Look, the guy is very cold. So, what do you recommend? He's very cold. So, Evan Enrique. Have a hot drink. Have a hot drink. Yes, okay, have a hot drink. Correct. Thank you very much. What about number four? Look at that lady. She's like, oh my God. What's happening? In the chat, Samirka says, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. So, number four. Maria de Lourdes. Don't lift heavy things. Correct. Just the pronunciation is don't lift heavy things. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Don't lift heavy things. Muy bien. Ya no van a ocupar estos cuatro porque ya lo usamos. Ahora van estos. Number five. What are you having? Number five. He's working and he is sick. Está trabajando y anda enfermo. ¿Qué, qué le recomiendo? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Alan Iglesias. No work too hard. No, I... Don't work too hard. Aunque sea lo ocupamos. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you look, he is working and he's sick. Anda trabajando enfermito. Entonces, ¿qué le recomiendo a usted? Don't go home early. Tal vez lo contrario. Mándelo para la casa. Mándelo para la casa. Ah. I don't know why. 
Okay. All right. Who, who can help us? Uh, Valilio. Do you, do you go home early? Go home early. Oh, okay. Go home. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Yeah. Correct. You have go home early. Vaya a hacer su casa temprano. Anda. No anda bien, no anda enfermo. Okay, go home early. What about number six? Number six, Enrique. Michelle, number six, stay, stay up late. Um, but is, is that the recommendation? Stay up late means desvelarse. Oh. Entonces, si usted le dice stay up late, le está diciendo desvelese. <laughs> uh -huh. Más bien, recomiéndele que no se desvele. ¿Cómo se lo diría? Uh, don't stay up late. Don't stay up late. Correct. Okay. Don't stay up late. Good. Thank you, Enrique. Number seven. Number seven. What's that, Benjamin? Uh, go to the grocery store. Go to the grocery store. Correct. Okay. Well, super. Let's go to the grocery store. Okay. Okay. Go to the grocery store. And number eight. Thank you. Number eight. Ebert. Number eight. Ebert. Have a hot drink. Have a hot drink. Are you sure? Ah, eh, perdón, perdón, es drink some water. Drink some water. Okay, good. Drink some water. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. What about this? You have write two pieces of advice for each problem. Bueno, creo que el tiempo. Vamos, pasemos esto porque por el tiempo tenemos que empezar ya la unidad 3. So by the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about how to improve your health. Additionally, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. Al final de esta clase, ustedes leerán y discutirán un artículo acerca de cómo mejorar la salud. Adicionalmente, desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura y la detección de ideas principales. So what is this? Take a look. 10 simple ways to improve your health. 10 maneras simples de mejorar su salud. Improve means mejorar. Okay. Ten simple ways to improve your health. Can you think of some ways to improve your health? Don't look at the article. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in ten simple ways. O sea, lo crea o no, ¿verdad? Usted puede mejorar su salud grandemente, ¿verdad? De estas diez maneras que son muy simples. So, the first one. Volunteer, please. Help me read this. No saben qué le voy a decir a quién, porque si no, quién va a estar. Let's see. Uh, Oscar Susana, please help me read number one. Que me ayuda a leer la número uno. Uh, breakfast. How you energy for the morning? Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. That's the first one. Thank you. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Very good. Okay, the next one. Edith Consuelo, number two, please. Edith Consuelo, are you there? Hmm, voy descubriendo aquí. Okay. Ever Alvallero, number two, please. Ever, are you there? Mm, no me contesta, ¿por qué será? Creo que el ballero está, está ya conectado, pero está, está ya de turno. Está, está de turno, quizá, ¿verdad? 
por eso le está costando okay. al favor. Ok. All right, María Magdalena, number two, please. Ok. Go, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise. And exercise is necessary for good health. Yes, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Number three, who wants to help? Please. Vamos. Practiquemos nuestra pronunciación por acá. Floss your teeth. You know the meaning of floss your teeth? Okay. Usar el hilo para limpiar los dientes, ¿verdad? Vamos, compañeros. Anímense. Ok. Enrique Pérez, number three. It's your number three. Yes. yes. Flush your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flush and keep your gun healthy. Yeah. Don't just brush them. No solo se los cepille, dice. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. ¿verdad? Usar el hilo dental. Eh, ayuda a sus sencillas a permanecer saludables, right? Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Okay. Thank you, Enrique. What about number four? Please. Mauro Orlando dice que ya está por acá. Odilio. Drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Drink eight cups of water every day. Eight cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. El, el agua le ayuda a su cuerpo de muchas maneras. Okay, thank you, Odilio. Number five, volunteer, Jose Benjamin. Stay for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Stretch for five minutes. Stretch, right? Okay. Stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Estirarse es importante para los músculos. Thank you, Jose Benjamin. Number six. Adán Iglesias. Uh, wear a seat belt every year. Seat belt. Say... Tucson of life. Yes, wear a seat belt. Utilice el cinturón de seguridad. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. Cada año, los cinturones de seguridad salvan miles de vidas. Okay, that's true. Okay, Maria de Lourdes, number seven, please. The summit to challenge your pain. For example, do a crossword, puzzle, or um, read a new look, a book. And read a new book. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, do something to challenge your brain. Haga algo para retar o ponerle un, un reto a su cerebro. For example, do a crossword puzzle. Okay. Por ejemplo, un crucigrama, right? A crossword puzzle or read a new book. O lea un libro. Okay, good. Number eight, volunteers, please. The chat, Kevin Enrique. Number Kevin eight, Pañero, protect aquí. your skin. Use a lot of moisturizer and sunscreen. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. ¿Verdad? Utilice mucha crema humectante y también protector solar. So sunscreen, that's sunscreen for you. Thank you, okay. Number nine. Uh, Baudilio and then Enrique Perez will do number 10. So Baudilio, number nine. Get an out calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy, food, like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Get enough calcium. Okay, thank you. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, dairy foods means uh, lactose. Okay, that's dairy foods like yogurt, 
milk and cheese have calcium. Okay, thank you. Enrique Perez, number 10, please. Okay, number 10. Uh, take it by hour, uh, a blip of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. Yes, take a time out, a break, okay? Thomas, un, un break. Take a time out break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music, okay? You need to take a break. Okay, good, that's the, that's the article. 10 simple ways to improve your health. So there's knowledge check 2.12, the last exercise. Instructions, read the article, then complete the sentences. Lea el artículo, luego complete las oraciones. Okay, so to get exercise, for example, you go for a walk. What about number two? To help your bones, para ayudarle a sus huesos, ¿qué hace usted? Mm -hmm. Podilio. En la calcio. Faltaría el verbo ahí para dar la instrucción. Get enough calcium. Ah, get enough calcium. Okay. So you can say to help your bones get enough calcium or to help your bones eat dairy products. ¿Verdad? Haces el verbo get. Vamos aquí a... Teacher. Yes. Es, es, esa era una cierta duda que me generaba. Es, era que, get, out, get enough calcium o eat. Es que get mm -hmm. es obtener. Oh, okay. Eso, get es obtener. Aunque el verbo get es el verbo con mayor número de significados en inglés. Puede significar muchas cosas, get. Pero en su forma más simple, get es obtener. So get enough calcium. Obtenga suficiente calcio para, para usted mismo. Mm -hmm. O oh, eat dairy you. products. Mm -hmm. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. So just uh, let me change one thing here para que se, sea un poquito más vistoso esto. Bueno, let me see. Okay, get enough calcium, eat dairy products. Okay, Maria Magdalena, number three, to help your muscles. Stretch for five minutes. Stretch for five minutes. Good, thank you very much. Number four, to keep your gums healthy. Adán Iglesias. Floss your teeth. Floss your teeth. 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 Okay, teeth. Okay, floss teeth. your teeth. Mm -hmm. Haces el hilo, no dientes. Okay, floss your teeth. Okay, good. Number five. Ever Enrique. To have energy for the morning. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Okay, correct. And the last one. To challenge your brain. Challenge your brain. What do you have? To sometimes do challenge your brain. Um, okay, good. Pero, pero, <laughs> casi que lo vimos. Uh, to challenge your brain, do something to challenge your brain. Okay, but what specifically? Específicamente, ¿qué sería? Porque si no diría algo así como para retar a su cerebro, haga algo que rete su cerebro. Pero, ¿qué exactamente? Okay, Baudilio. Do read a crossword puzzle, a new work, new book. Okay, sería entonces. Uh, read. Okay, pero tenemos que ordenar ahí las palabras un poco. Sería, me dijo primero. Do read. Ajá, vaya, ahí está. Si decimos do read, está utilizando dos verbos. ¿En uno o es el otro? Entonces sería. Uh, do a crossword puzzle. Do a crossword puzzle. Or read, uh, read, read uh -huh. a new book. Yes. Do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Mm -hmm. There you go. To challenge your brain, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Yeah, good advice right there. 
Y con eso terminamos la sección 2, damas y caballeros. That's the end of this part. And now we have to go to part number three. Just let me find it. Enrique, dígame. No, te eché ya. Te rico la duda ahí. Ok. De la última oración era. Ok, ok. So, well, uh, section number three, everybody. Aquí comenzamos la sección número tres. Veamos. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario sobre tiendas y otros lugares y discutirán dónde pueden conseguir cosas diferentes. So, take a look. Here's the deal. Okay. Where do you get these things? ¿Dónde consigue usted estas cosas? Aspirin, bread, a dictionary, gasoline, a sandwich, stamps, a sweatshirt, and traveler's checks. Okay. Traveler's checks. So, uh, for example, aspirin. You get aspirin at the drugstore. That's letter B. That's why you have letter B right here. What about bread? What do you, where do you get the bread? Maria Lourdes. Bread in the supermarket. A supermarket, that will be letter H. That's correct. Okay, very good. That's letter H. Great, what about number three? Very good, thank you, Maria Lourdes. What about number three? Ever Enrique, and then Baudilio Lenilso. Leather, bueno, a bookstore, leather S. A bookstore, a dictionary, you get a dictionary in a bookstore. That's correct, okay? Letter F, good. Baudilio, gasoline, where do you get gasoline? A gas station. A gas station, that will be letter D. That's correct, very good, thank you. What about a sandwich? Where do you get a sandwich? Where do you get a sandwich? Evident Aristides. Hey. Sorry? A uh, restaurant. A restaurant, yes, you can get a sandwich at the restaurant. Very good, thank you. Jose Benjamin, stamps. Where do you get stamps? A post office. In a post office, correct. Okay, sellos postales versus the stamps. Thank you. What about a sweatshirt? What? Where do you get a sweatshirt? Baudilio. A department store. A department store, that's correct. You get a sweatshirt at the department store. And number eight, traveler's checks. Cheques para viaje. Okay, where do you get them? Se ven a mí tiene la manita levantada. A bank. A bank. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Okay, Saul. Thank you. Uh, you go for the next one. I promise. Yeah, you get them in the bank. That's correct. Okay. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Okay. So there's a listening activity, okay? That will be knowledge check 3.2. That was, sorry, the first one was, sorry. 2.1, I made a mistake here, should be 3.1, my mistake. Okay, now we go with knowledge check 3.2. Okay, in the platform, let me show you. Where is it?
Okay, just a moment. Just a second, please. Okay, it's this one right here. Now let's check. Listen to the Anderson's family conversations to answer the questions. Okay, so this is now let's check 3.2 and the one that we're going to solve right now. So listen to the Anderson's family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. ¿Qué es lo que necesitan? ¿Y dónde lo van a comprar? For example, you have Jean. Jean is the name of the person. Jean needs a swimsuit. Traje de baño. Where is she going to buy it? Well, listen and write the answer. What about mom? Mom needs something. And where is she going to buy it? At the supermarket. Then dad and Mike, they need something. And you have to tell me where they're going to buy it. Todos necesitan algo y van a mencionar donde lo van a comprar. So please, everybody, take notes. Apunten, por favor. Take notes. And then we're going to check answers. Here we go. One. Pueden escuchar, ¿verdad? La grabación. Cuando dice one. Yes, okay. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad! Okay, I'm going to play it a second time. Okay, second time. Listen and take notes. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? <laughs> sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Okay. Let's check. So the first one here. Um, you have Jean. Jean needs a, swims a swimsuit. And where is she going to get it? Mm -hmm. Where is Jean going to get her swimsuit? Evan Enrique. A department store. A department store. Okay. It's going to get it. She's going to get it at the department store. Okay, that's correct. Thank you. What about mom? 
she's going to get something at the supermarket, but what? What is she going to get? Raise your hand, please. What does she need? Maria Magdalena, and then Evan. I need cookies. Okay, she needs some cookies, okay? She needs some cookies. She's going to get them at the supermarket. Thank you very much, okay? Number three, what about that? What does that need and where is he going to get that? Ever? Aspirin. Aspirin. Okay, Aspirin. that's correct. And where is he going to get is he going to get that? At the drugstore. At the drugstore. That is correct. Okay, good. Thank you. Ever. Number four. What about Mike? Adan Iglesias. What does Mike need? A newspaper. A newspaper. And where newspaper. is he going to get it? Uh, but the drugstore at the drugstore too. Okay, that's correct. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, so that's uh, knowledge check three point two. Let's move on. Lesson objective three point three. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Al final de esta clase aprenderán a sonar natural cuando estén diciendo sustantivos compuestos. ¿Y qué son estos sustantivos compuestos? Look, pronunciation, compound nouns. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Okay? Let's listen. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket, bookstore, department store. Yeah, so let's take a look. Aquí donde ven este círculo donde va la fuerza de voz. So you say post office. Y no decimos post office, ¿verdad? Sino que decimos post office. Gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket. Bookstore, department store. Okay. I need a volunteer to read these words, please. Voluntario que me ayude a leer estas palabras con la pronunciación correcta. Vamos. Ebert. Okay. Box office. Good. Gas station. Mm -hmm. Restroom, mm -hmm. coffee shop, mm -hmm. drugstore, mm -hmm. supermarket, yes, bookstore, yes, department store. Ok, good. Solo una cuestión. Esto es un error bien común. Cuando, la, cuando estamos aprendiendo decimos department, pero es, es de hecho department. Department. Ajá, no hay una. Ah, ahí va. Sería department store. Ok. Department. Okay, good. Again, it's thank you, Ever. Uh, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, and department store. Very good. Okay, let's move on. We don't have much time. No nos queda mucho tiempo. Aunque en esta unidad, déjenme decirles que hay que hacer bastante práctica porque no es que sea difícil lo que vamos a ver, pero sí requiere. Requiere repetición para poderlo hacer de manera, digamos, efectiva y a un nivel deseado. So, what are we going to do here? By the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase aprenderán preposiciones de lugar para dar direcciones. Además, Practicará una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. This is lesson objective 3.5. So, conversation, it's across from the park. Okay, across from the park. Listen to the conversation, then we're going to read this together. Okay, let's listen. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. 
Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. There's a conversation. I need two volunteers to play the conversation, please. One, one gentleman and one lady. One gentleman to play the man and one lady to play the woman, please. Baudilio, okay, now we need a lady to help Baudilio read the rest. Vamos, una chica, una señorita, una señora que nos ayude por acá. María Magdalena, thank you. Okay, Baudilio, you begin. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son need, needs a restaurant. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on May Street. Well, on May Street? It's on the corner of May and First Avenue. On the corner of May and First? Yes, it is across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you, Baudilio and Maria Magdalena. So the man says, excuse me, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, the man says, excuse me, can you help me? ¿Puedo ayudarme? Is there a public restroom around here? Hay un baño público por acá? And the woman says, a public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so, no creo. The man says, oh no, my son needs a restroom. And the woman says, well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. ¿Verdad? Hay un baño en el almacén que está sobre la Main Street. And the man says, where on Main Street? Donde específicamente, ¿verdad? where on Main Street? The woman says, it's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Está en la esquina de la calle Main y la avenida, the First Avenue. Okay, it's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. And the man says, on the corner of First and Main, Main and First, I'm sorry. And the woman says, yes, it's across from the park. Está cruzando la calle, está enfrente del parque, cruzando la calle. You can't miss it. This expression, you can't miss it. Es cuando algo es muy prominente, ¿verdad? En, en eh, donde quiera que usted se encuentre y, o sea, lo va a ver, definitivamente lo va a ver. Es grande y no se pierde nadie. Ok, you can't miss it. And the man says, thanks a lot. So that's the idea. So let's take a look. Grammar focus. We're going to study the prepositions of place. Very important. Prepositions of place. Take a good look at this. Veamos. First, we have. Yes, Enrique. Pichi, te dio una pregunta en el texto anterior. Dígame. Cuando, eh, cuando dice eh, I don't think so, que usted mm. dice que significa no creo. O no eh, lo creo. No lo creo. Y si dice I don't believe so. También ah, lo, lo que pasa es que cuando uno dice I don't think so es como no, no creo, ¿verdad? Es como decir, ¿qué le puedo decir? Me parece que no, eso sería I don't think so, me parece que no, no creo. Pero cuando uno dice I don't believe, sería no creo, es decir, no doy credibilidad a algo. Usted me cuenta algo y me dice, no, usted me está mintiendo. I don't believe it, dice, no lo creo. En uno deja más dudas, el otro, lo deja, el otro lo, lo, lo deja más afirmativo. Lo que pasa así. es que ajá, cuando uno dice, I don't think so, es como, no, no creo, no me parece. Es decir, no estoy seguro, pero yo creo que no. Bien, uh -huh. I don't think so. Ajá. Mientras que cuando usted dice, I don't believe it, quiere decir, no lo crea. Usted le han dicho algo, pero usted dice, eso es mentira, eso no es verdad. I don't believe it. Yo solo le está afirmando que no le cree. 
Ajá, es, 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 se That's trata the sobre. Ajá, that's the thing. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, so the grammar focus, prepositions of place. Take a look. La primera que vamos a aprender es esta, on. On. Ok. ¿Cuándo va a utilizar usted on? Cuando usted quiera decir sobre qué calle o qué avenida está determinado establecimiento. Simple. For example, take a look. The department store is on Main Street. El almacén está sobre la Main Street, o la calle principal, right? On Main Street. Hmm? If I ask you, for example, where is Metro Centro? Where is Metro Centro? ¿Quién me dice ahí? Where is Metro Centro? Utilizando la preposición on. Caudilio. On Boulevard de los Héroes. Ok, so you can say Metro Centro is. Ah, ok. Metro Centro is uh, on Boulevard de los Héroes. Ajá. Uh -huh. You can say Metro Centro is on Los Héroes Boulevard. Ok, Los Héroes Boulevard. Yeah, Metro Centro is on Los Héroes Boulevard. Ok, great. Nice. Ahí tenemos un ejemplo. Veamos, creo que ustedes no todos trabajan exactamente en el mismo lugar, ¿verdad? O sea, ANSP tiene, digamos, oficinas en varias partes. Lo que nos contaba Baudilio, que él está hasta allá, por el aeropuerto. Ok. ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde, sobre qué calle o sobre qué avenida se encuentra, digamos, eh, la oficina de la ANSP donde ustedes laboran? Ok, who can tell me? María de Lourdes. The, the INSP is on Melvin Jones Avenue. On Melvin Jones Avenue. Okay. Santa Tecla. Okay, okay, good. So INSP, okay, the INSP office is on Melvin Jones Avenue, Santa Tecla. Okay, good. Ahí está, está sobre la avenida Melvin Jones. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. So the next one, take a look. The next uh, proposition of place is on the corner of. Fíjese bien acá. On the corner of. ¿Cuándo va a utilizar on the corner of? Cuando resulte que el establecimiento o casa o edificio que usted está hablando esté cabal en la esquina de determinada calle y determinada avenida. On the corner of. O sea, aquí está Main Street and First Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and First. Aquí solo dicen Main and First, pero usted puede decir It's on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. También, no hay problema. Puede utilizar el nombre completo. On the corner of. Ok. It's on the corner of Main and First. Sigue cuidado, ¿verdad? Cuando en este caso se utilice... Eh, fuera de este establecimiento en azul, ahí usted diría nada más on Main Street, porque está sobre esta calle. Pero este otro rosado que está acá, resulta que está en la esquina, exactamente. Entonces usted dice on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. On the corner of. Ok. The next one. We have across from. What is across from? Across from is enfrente de, ok, está enfrente, pero cruzando la calle, eso quiere decir, across from, so you can say, look at this, it's across from the park, here's the park, and the place is across from the park, está enfrente, ¿verdad? pero hay que cruzar la calle, across from, cuidado porque se dice across from, si usted dice in front of, también es válido, también significa enfrente, pero quiere decir algo diferente. Si usted dice in front of, quiere decir que está enfrente, pero del mismo lado de la calle. Es decir, no hay que cruzarse. Ok. 
Así que cuidado con eso. Across from es enfrente, pero cruzándose la calle. Definitivamente. Ok. So it's across from the park. If I say, for example, where is Hotel Real Intercontinental? Where is Hotel Real Intercontinental? Paudilio. Hotel Real Intercontinental is across from the Metro Center. Yes, okay. You can say Hotel Real Intercontinental is across from Metro Centro. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Usted quiere ir al, al Hotel Real, tiene que cruzar la calle o agarrar una pasarela. Ahí. So, yeah, across from Metro Centro. Very good. Okay, great. That is great. The next one, you have next to. What is next to? Contiguo, ¿verdad? A la par. That's next to. So, for example, it's next to the bank. Okay, está a la par del banco. It's next to the bank. Very easy. And finally, you have the preposition between. What is between? Between means entre. That's between. You say the bank is between the department store and the restaurant. El banco está entre ¿verdad? el eh, almacén y el restaurante. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. There you go. Ahora, cuidado con algo. Cuando ocupamos between, no le vayan a poner una preposición adicional. Porque es un error bien común que cuando eh, comenzamos a aprender esto, ¿verdad? Preposition of place, la gente dice between of. Le pone un of ahí, no sé por qué. Pero no lo lleva. Solamente es between. Between este y el otro. Únicamente. Ok, Baudilio. Teacher, una pregunta. ¿Esto solo se refiere a ubicación de lugares o como persona puedo decir... Estoy en. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Sí. Ahora, um, algunos como, por ejemplo, on, on the corner of, que son estos de acá, ¿verdad? Sería on, on the corner of y across from. Eso sí, quizás no, a menos que usted esté hablando de su propia ubicación, ¿verdad? Mira, ¿dónde está? No te veo. Es, estoy enfrente del banco. Es, I'm across from the bank. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Si usted está hablando de su propia ubicación con respecto a los edificios. Esto probablemente no, ¿verdad? Pero usted sí puede decir, I am next to uh, Mauricio, for example. Or I am between uh, Elizabeth and Roberto. ¿Ok? Digamos que su oficina está cabal entre las de ellos dos. O simplemente usted está parado en medio de ellos dos. Entonces, sí lo puede utilizar. Thank you. En, okay. la, en la, esta preposición de next to, uh -huh. aquí nosotros a veces acostumbramos a decir después de. Ajá, así es. Next to. Pero sería a la par. Uh -huh. Ya sea Thank antes you. o después. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, everybody. Do you have any other questions about this? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No more questions. Ok, then. En ese caso lo dejamos hasta acá que ya es hora. Ok, eight and three. So, everybody, thank you very much. Ok. Esperemos que los otros compañeros, ah, antes de eso, paso asistencia rápido, que no se me voy a olvidar. Cecia Gemima. Cecia. A Juan Francisco Arrazábal. Me dijeron que no se iba a poder conectar. Creo que no. Ok. Uh, Karen Yulisa. ¿Es Karen Yulisa online tonight? Karen Yulisa, no. Ok, Mónica Ivette Merino. Mónica Ivette, no se encuentra. Salvador Hernández. No. Santos Mauricio. Arias. No, no se encuentra. Bueno, esperemos que pues no les toque faltar mucho. Pues ent entiendo yo, por lo menos en mi caso que se debe a, a, a labor, ¿verdad? Que les han encomendado, pues si ahí no podemos hacer mucho. 
sin embargo, con eh, Insaforp es un poquito más estricto en ese sentido. Es decir, ustedes me pueden decir a mí, por este y este motivo no vamos a estar, pero Insaforp en eso es bien, bien estricto. Así que les recomiendo que cualquier situación parecida que se dé eh, como esta, comuníquense directamente con los eh, administradores del grupo, que en este caso serían... Déjenme ver. Serían Jason Bautista, Emily Ramírez y Andy Ramos y también Flor Sánchez. Ok. Entonces, a cualquiera de ellos, ustedes pueden eh, comunicarles estas situaciones para que ellos puedan ver si de alguna manera pueden eh, solventar o hacer algo al respecto. De acuerdo. Así que les recomiendo mucho que siempre se apoyen en ellos, porque ellos son el personal administrativo. En mi caso, soy personal docente. Así que. Yo paso la asistencia, pero con el dato luego yo no hago nada. <ríe> Quienes se encargan del dato ya luego son, son ellos. Así que, por favor, acudan a ellos también cuando estas situaciones se presenten. Everybody, thank you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow.